Good afternoon and welcome to K2's Road to Excellence with Excel Series Part 4 and our partner Telpay. This is Alan Salmon and I'm delighted that so many of you are here with me, us, today. As usual, a couple of announcements before we get started. Number one, slight difference today. I'm teaching in Excel 2016, and in the past, I have told you that those of you on 2013, 10, and 7 would do exactly what I'm doing. Today, there will be a couple of times when those of you that are on 2007 will need to click on the Office button at the top left-hand corner instead of the file menu that the rest of us use and I will highlight those when we get to those two occurrences. I'm delighted once again that Marilyn Benninger, my backup and good friend, is with me today. She is your go-to person for technical issues, and she is your route to answering questions via the chat menu. 10 days from today, you will get the recording, my teaching notes, my teaching files, and all of your questions and answers. And as you know, five times today, Marilyn is going to be interrupting us and putting up a polling question. For those of you that are new, those are multiple choice questions. The answer doesn't matter. What matters is that you click on one of the answers so you're recorded as being present. And if you do that, you will get one verifiable hour of CPDs. If you don't, you'll get one non-verifiable. And new today, and we've already tested it, is in addition to being able to view, download the recording, you're going to be able to view it in our YouTube uh, area now. And some people like that. So on with the show. Today, I'm going to focus on printing. And some of you are going to say, what do you mean printing? We're paperless. Well, I have yet to see any firm that's totally paperless and doesn't do a little bit of printing, and that includes us. So the focus today in the first part will be on some tips that will expedite your printing when you have to do it. And then the final two tips will be the focused on custom reports, creating them, and so on. So it's time for us to get on with the show. Now on my screen, you have a five tab file, and it's actually a set of financial statements. You'll notice we've got a balance sheet, we've got results of operations, we've got notes to the financials, and so on. So before we get started, I want you to look up here at my quick access toolbar. I'll come back to the camera later on. But I've got some icons here. Quick print, print preview, print, and print area. And those, both of those are highly useful. And of course, you get them there by right mouse clicking, go to customize the quick access toolbar, go to all commands, and find them down in the P area. So I'm gonna take a break for a minute and Marilyn is gonna put up the first poll. Good morning all. Just going to get your first poll for you. How many of you are aware that there's a camera that comes with Excel? You should be seeing a blue screen with five possible choices. We keep the poll open for just a few seconds don't want to slow down all the great content. So your choices are never vaguely. I started to play with it. I've tried to understand, but I use it whenever I need a custom report. So we're just about at 90%. I'm going to count you down nine, five, four, three, two, and one. That's great. 95% response rate. Can you see those results, Alan? Wow. That's just about where I thought, and it's nice that I have 5% of you that are experts in the camera. I'd love to be able to chat with you about how you use it. 
So let's move on, Marilyn. So you're looking at my home tab now, and we're going to go to the balance sheet just because it's easier to look at. And we're going to now go to page layout, the tab. And from the margins all the way over to print titles, that's the focus of the print settings. So let's get started at the beginning, and let's deal with margins. So when I click on this, I'm going to get some standard ones that Excel has set up, but the very top, my last custom settings. If I changed any of the margin settings, it will appear here. And then we have normal, wide, and narrow. And down at the bottom, I can set my custom margins. I don't use that margins to uh, set the uh, margin width. I go down here to page setup over here to the diagonal arrow and click. And I find this to be much cleaner and easier to work with. And which way you go, it's entirely up to you. So let's go to margins and notice what we've got. One inch top, bottom, 0.75 left and right. Now, very rarely will I leave that at this. In fact, some of you are going to think I've lost my mind because I'm going to set it to zero. And when I used to do this in a classroom setting, somebody would put their hand up and say, I don't want my Excel worksheet to bleed and, and print to the absolute out size of the paper. And with margins, it won't at zero. Now, why? because every printer that I have ever used requires a certain amount of space on the left and on the right to grab the paper and run it around the drum. So here's what happens. Let's assume that I have both the left and right margin set at 0.5. Guess what? Your actual margin when it prints is 0.75 on the left, 0.75 on the right. So if I set it to zero, now how's it going to print? 0.25 on the left and right. So I have just given you a tip that will add half an inch to your printed area by setting the margins. Let's go to the page setup. And we've all fiddled with this trying to get the thing to fit. So we play with, let's adjust it, and usually that doesn't work. And then we go here, fit to one page wide by one page tall, and we get out our biggest magnifying glass that we find. Now, I'm in favor, and I use fit to one page wide a lot. But normally, I'll need more than one page. So I count the pages and then I do this, which is an absolute waste of time because what I'm going to put in here is zero. And you're going to say, well, that won't print anything. It certainly will. It will print all of the pages. I don't have to do a page count. And of course, if I want to do portrait or landscape, the settings are there. So that's your first tip. Now, let's go to headings. And you can actually print headings in, like we do in Word, which is go into the headings and footing area, and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. But most of us typically want to print these five rows as our heading so it prints on every page. And the way you do that is to go to the page layout and go to print titles. Okay. So up at the top, I've got the print area 
A6 to C66. Rows to repeat at the top, dollar sign one, colon, dollar sign five, which says print rows one to five for all columns at the top of the page. And then down here, I've got some settings that I rarely go to. I can turn on the grid lines. I can turn on black and white. I don't think I've hit, used draft quality in a bunch of years. And sometimes I'll show, I'll print the row and column headings, meaning one, two, three, A, B, C, but not very often. And then here, it's telling me how it's going to print. So it's going to print down every page, then go to the top and print down every page. And I don't think I have ever used this print every page across for the first page, then go down and print every page across. So the normal setting is here. And then over here, I don't use comments very much, but if I have them in a workbook, then I can define how it prints. The default is none. I can print them at the end of each sheet, or as displayed, meaning they will print in the area where they are. We'll leave it at none. And then you've all run across workbooks where you've got error messages in cells. And the question is, do you want to print them or not? So I have some choices here. If I leave it as as displayed, they will print whatever is in the cell, the error message. I could print it make all of those blank cells, two dots, or I can put in pound in comma A not applicable. The choice is up to you. So there we go. And then we come to the issue of every sheet probably needs print settings. And it's a pain to do them individually and you don't have to. So let's assume that I want to do the print settings on these three sheets. I select them and go in to margins and set my margins, or I go into orientation and so on and set them. And those will apply to all of the sheets that I've selected. Just get out of there and come back to balance sheet. And then there are times when we don't want to print everything. So in this case, let's assume that we only want to print the assets. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this. One is to go to the file menu and go to print. Now, for those of you that are on 2007, instead of going to the file menu, you'll go to the office button. And then print active sheets, no. Print selection, yes. However, as usual, that's too much work. Because if I have the quick print button up here, I merely click on it. And in the background, you may hear my printer going, and it's about to print that sheet. And here it comes. So two ways to do that. Now, what happens if I want to print multiple sheets? Well, I do the same thing with the control key. Now, notice that I started with the balance sheet selected. Then I added results of operations, notes to financials. And now if I cl click on the quick print, and I'm not going to do that, they will print in the order that they were selected. So balance sheet first, results of operations, and so on. And then we get to the issue of page breaks. Because quite often Excel decides to do a page break where we don't want it. So how do we deal with that? 
Well, we move away from the page layout view or tab, and we go to the view tab. And over here beside the normal is page break preview and page layout. Watch what happens when I click on page break preview. Notice that I have it set. And there we go. There's the problem. It's going to print right in the middle of my liability and stockholder. But if I click on that blue line, I'm able to move it up. And the same thing on the page preview. So it's pretty easy to do things with, with page break preview. The second thing that I want to do is this. Let's go to page layout. Now, you'll find something different at the top. Under the page layout view, I've got the ability to add a left header, center header, and a right header. At the very bottom, I've already got a left footer, Bernstein, Goldstein, and so on. And by the way, that's a dummy company. And there. And that, of course, prints on all the pages. In addition to my heading here, which is those first five rows I set. So to sum up, most of my settings for printing are under the page layout view over here under page setup. A couple of them are under the view tab with page break preview and page layout. And then of course, I have these icons. So I wanna do one more thing, and that is deal with the issue of, uh, finish the issue of just printing part of it. So let's say that I wanna print total current assets. I can go to the file or office button and click on print selection. But what happens if I want to do this over and over? Well, I need to take that off and go back to the balance sheet. Well, what I do is select that go to page break preview and then click on the uh, on the print button which I've got right here or the quick print and by the way you'll now understand why I have print preview and print up here and the print button because that means that I don't have to go to either the file or the office button <coughs> Now I want to move on to the final two topics, and they're big ones. So we'll close this down. And now we're going to deal with the camera. There we go. And once again, I've got uh, multiple tabs here with reports on it and so on, financial statements and so on. And this is a forecast model. It goes out to 2025. Well, I want to create a custom report that includes part of this sheet, part of the cost of capital, and the cost of power. And that's not a big deal. All of you could do that very easily by doing copy paste, but I'm not. And as I showed you before, up here is the camera. And I get it by, of course, going to customize the quick access bar, going to all commands, and you will find it down here under the C's. Whoops, I went too far. There we go. So there it is there. And I select it and, of course, click on add. So now let's use it. So here's the first piece of my custom report. I want these assumptions. 
Now, 80% of you would now click on the copy or do a control C. Instead of that, I'm gonna click on the camera. Well, actually, I'm not yet. Well, I'm gonna move my sheet one over to here so you can see it better. So I'm gonna click on the camera and nothing happens. But when I go here to sheet one, can you all see that my mouse pointer is now a plus sign? That's what happens when you click on the camera. And notice what happens when I left mouse click. There's that piece. So let's go to the cost of capital and let's go to here and let's click on the camera back to sheet one click here and finally let's go to the cost of power and we'll get this click on the camera and this time I'm going to put it up here. Now you're probably not impressed because you could have done that just as easily with copy paste. But watch what happens when we go here. Notice the dam is going to cost 40 million. Well, inflation set in and it's now going to be 60 million. And now let's go back to our report. Notice what's here, applause please. Because what the camera does is it builds what are called dynamic links. So every cell here, including the numbers, is linked back to the original cell. And if I want to see that, I really double click. And there I am. So this is hugely useful when you're creating custom reports because this will update automatically as things change. Now, where do I use this? Primarily in reports that I'm going to build for a customer. And I build a custom report, one, two, maybe one, two, or three, and then I hide all of the sheets that I don't want them to mess with, and I lock it down. I suspect some of you now will be very interested in the camera. Marilyn, it's time for our next poll. Thank you for that, Ellen. I can hear oohs and ahs all across the country. So we're going to be talking about custom views now, folks. You should see a poll there with three answers. If you've ever heard of custom views, your choices are, nope, never heard of them, or I don't understand them, or maybe you've used them when you want to print a custom report. It's very helpful for us to know who's attending today and what their skill levels are. You're all voting very quickly this morning. It's 90%. I'm going to be closing in five, four, three, two, and one. Thanks for your participation, folks. Here's your results, Alan. Hmm. Hmm. I'm impressed that 24% of them are using them. So for the rest of you, which is 76% the way I do old math, let's look at this workbook now after Marilyn closes the poll. There we go. So again, this is the same workbook that uh, I used for the camera, and it's got the same sheets. Now let's look at the financial statement sheet here. And you notice it runs from 2014 to 2025. Well, we're going to assume that I am focusing this morning on the cash flow statement. So I've got to scroll down here when I want to use it. Now, I could do this, which is to hide these sheets. like this. And work away. And then I got to unhide them. Well, up comes my favorite statement. This is too much work. 
So let's assume that I'm working over in the year 2020 and down on the cash flow statement. So the first thing I'm going to do is hide these. Next thing I'm going to do is go down here. And hide all the way down to here. Well, I screwed it up, so I'll do it like this. Okay. So I'm working away here most of the morning, and it's 12 o'clock, and I want to see the whole thing. So guess what I do? Hide, unhide. One o'clock, hide and so on. Instead of that, I'm going to select all of this now. Whoops, went too far. There we go. And then I'm going to go to the View tab. And on the View tab over here, you see custom views. And there's a bunch set up here, and I'll explain these and so on. But I'm going to add one, and we're going to call it Alan. And notice the print settings are on, hidden rows. I don't want. So I click on OK. Now, what happens when I want to see the whole thing? Well, in the essence of time, I've done a custom view. And notice there's a custom view of, at home, that I've called home. I click on show. And there it is. After lunch, I want to work. And there it is. So that's great for doing this sort of thing. Where it really comes into value is when we come to printing. So all of these other custom views, like assumptions, I've created for print purposes. Because I click on assumptions, and I click on show, and I click on, and there I am. The print settings are all set up. So all I've got to do is click on the quick print. On the same thing with this one. I want performance indicators. There we go. If I want cost to capital, there we go and so on. Can you now see the usefulness of when you have custom print settings or, or need to work in a certain section on a large workbook that custom views are extremely useful? And for creating uh, custom reports, then I use the camera. And on that note, Marilyn, I am done. I will come back at the end to say goodbye to all of you, but it's time for the handoff to Telpe. Take it away, Marilyn. Thank you, Alan. I'm always pleased to be part of these sessions. I get to look over your shoulder and learn with everyone else. So hello to Telpe. I'm just going to unmute you. We see your slide, Andre. We had it. We'll need it again. There you go. So folks, uh, very pleased to welcome Telpe today. You may know that both Alan and I are board members for Telpe. It's a fabulous company, independently owned for a number of years, and they've been around in the financial services business for quite a long time. I'll let them tell you that story. And even though it's an institution with a long history, they're still innovating. So having said that, I want to do a sound check. Do I have Dale there? You do, Marilyn. Thank you very much. 
take it away, Dale. Perfect. Thanks, everyone, and good morning. Uh, on behalf of Telpe, I wanted to thank Alan and Marilyn for letting us be a uh, part of today's event. Uh, we are a proud sponsor uh, of the event and look forward to sharing some uh, some exciting information with you in the next 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, a quick update on the weather here in Winnipeg. I think Tina mentioned it was minus 28 this morning, so a little chilly, but uh, it, that's actually warmer than it has been. Uh, in the next uh, 25 minutes or so, uh, what we're going to share with you is a bit of information on Telpe, as Marilyn suggested, some of the information on our, our company's history, uh, the types of things we're doing, the types of clients we're working with, uh, and a little bit more information. Uh, we'll provide some information on different services for sending and receiving money with Telpe for Business. We're very excited also to share a couple new developments. One, a new service that we're offering, uh, Telpe FX. Uh, and really, that's designed to address the increasing need uh, for global currency capabilities and services in our customer base. We'll also share some information on a new payroll services partner, uh, PayTicker. Uh, and uh, PayTicker, the, the genesis there was, the, was uh, the development of a tool for companies with mobile workforces, and we'll share some information on that. We'll then close off with uh, some information on working with Telpay as a partner. Yeah, this morning I'm pleased to be joined by three members of our team. Uh, in order of appearance, uh, Andre Glissenstein, the sales manager for Telpay for Business, Jeff Boyko, who's the president of Telpay FX Incorporated, and Tina Mahood, who's the manager of customer care. So that's uh, what we're going to share in the next little bit. Uh, at this point, I'll hand it over to Andre. Uh, thanks, Dale. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'm the sales manager for Telpay for Business. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of what Telpay for Business can do. And then we'll go a little bit uh, further down with the other presenters. Uh, well, a little bit about Telpay history. Telpay has been in business uh, since 1985. Uh, we actually pioneered <coughs> over the phone uh, electronic payments. Uh, that's the name uh, com where the name Telpay comes from. Uh, but we have uh, since, there, uh, uh, since then uh, really evolved into uh, Canada's largest independent electronic payment company, uh, processing over $17 billion a year in payments and, and receiving payments for companies. So uh, we're very proud of the, the long uh, lasting history we have and uh, looking forward to uh, for you guys to know a little bit more and maybe join us too if you haven't heard about Telpay yet. Uh, a little bit more information on Telpay. We do have over 2,000 partners. Excuse me, Andre. Yes. Andre? Can we just yes. get you to advance your slides? We're not seeing your slides advance. Not seeing a slide? No, I'm I'm seeing your first slide only. I'm not seeing your blue slides. Okay. There we go. We had you. Okay, so something then went wrong. Let's try again. There we go. That's perfect. Thank you. Can you, can you see the current one now? I do. Thank you. Okay, so something went wrong before, so I'll, I'll just go back here. This is the one I was uh, mentioning before. We were over 32 business, to 32 years in business, and over uh, 17 billion dollars. Uh, so here where we were before, uh, like I mentioned, we have over 2,000 uh, partners across Canada. Those partners are bookkeepers and and, account and accountants, and they do work uh, for their their business and their clients' business using Telpay for business. We'll talk a little bit about that later too. Uh, we have over 120,000 uh, businesses that send and receive money using Telpay in Canada, uh, so it's the largest billers uh, list we can you can find in Canada, and then that's also one of the advantages of of using Telpay. Uh, and also, it's worth mentioning that our data and our IT is all developed here in Canada, it stays here, uh, all in store here, which keeps uh, uh, everything pretty uh, much secured. Uh, nowadays, with uh, all kinds of hacking and, and, and security issues, it's always always important to mention that too. Um, one other thing that we also very proud of is our trust operations. Uh, we are a company that every every single dollar that comes through in and out from our accounts, uh, for our our clients' money, all goes through the independent trust accounts that we have uh, with all our banks we work with. Uh, pretty much all the major banks in Canada, and uh, everything is independent uh, audited by BDO, and we are very proud of having them also as a partner uh, and making sure that everything that we do is clear and transparent to everyone that uses us. 
Now, who uses us? That's a <laughs> next question. And uh, pretty much, uh, you might be wondering, is, is Telpay good for my business? Uh, well, uh, Telpay is good for any business. It doesn't matter if you're very small or even if you're a very large company. Uh, we, we, can, we service companies from all over Canada, uh, small companies, franchises. We have a, a large group of franchises that uh, love working with us. You can see uh, some examples uh, of them uh, on, on the slide here. Uh, and uh, uh, like I mentioned, uh, we have uh, uh, over 120,000 companies that send and receive uh, money from us, and a lot of them are, are on the, those segments too. Now I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, what we can do for you, uh, uh, and basically much is uh, sending money and receiving money. Uh, our, our, our platform is all based on a software called Telpay for Business. Uh, and uh, we do have uh, a number of functions that we you can use our system for. Uh, one of them, uh, one of them is uh, doing payroll direct deposits. Uh, this one, we'll, we'll, Tina, that will we'll speak uh, soon, we'll talk a little bit more about that part. Um, you know, but also, you can do bill payments, pay any supplier. Uh, because of our large uh, billing list, it's easy to find them there. If they're not there, you can provide yourself the information. Uh, if you don't have the information, we have the ability of send a check to uh, to the your supplier and ask for that information. And we've been doing that for a long number of years. And that's how we uh, actually. That's why we like to say that we can pay literally anyone in Canada because if you don't have the bank information, you can we can send them a check on your behalf. So that really helps you and your clients really getting rid of having, uh, having sending those checks and have everything in all in one place. Uh, you can also do all kinds of government remittances uh, um, and pay pretty much anyone. Uh, that's also important. Uh, also mention uh, any kind of uh, electric, electric bill, phone bill, any kind of bill that you need, you'll be also be able to pay with our system. So uh, this is very uh, a very complete uh, solution for any kind of bill payment. Uh, we also, on the receiving side, uh, we offer to our Telpay for, ba tel pay for, ba uh, for Business cl uh, clients a pre-authorized debit solution, which also is very good on receiving money. Uh, uh, and we also offer uh, international uh, payments. Uh, we have uh, uh, two different ways of doing it. One that's a simpler way just for sending a USD uh, currency to US accounts. Uh, that's a different module that we have in our system, and it makes it really easy for our clients that need just to do, they don't want to deal with a currency exchange, but they need to pay U.S. vendors. It's really easy to do. Uh, and we also do have international payments. Uh, international payments, uh, we can, you can send money from uh, uh, your Canadian account to anywhere in the world, uh, and we do have a, a different module for that too, but uh, makes it really easy and also low cost. We're not... We're not getting to the whole details of all the costs and everything here, but you'll be uh, more uh, more than welcome to go to our website and and, and see all the information on the costs and you, you can compare it and you'll see. Uh, also, can contact us and uh, we will we'll also, of course, help you with that. And and lastly, here but not least, we have the currency uh, exchange and forwards uh, uh, option, and this is the one of the new things that Dale was uh, mentioned before. Uh, and, and that brings us to welcome Jeff to the platform. Jeff, are you there? Yes, I am, Andre. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Go ahead. Okay, great. Uh, good day, y'all. I'm Jeff Boyko, and I'm excited to be part of this wonderful Telpay team to offer this new opportunity to our customers. I started my career in Winnipeg as an engineer and I've lived throughout the US and a couple of years in Europe. I'm now living down here in Austin, Texas, but I spend a lot of time back up in Canada and hopefully I have a chance to meet personally uh, with some of you in the future. I'm coming on board with over 20 years of currency experience and now I actually consider myself a currency engineer. It's kind of a new classification I made for myself since I transitioned from an engineer a number of years ago. And I believe, uh, of course, I'm well qualified to start this new endeavor with Telpay. Telpay has a reputation of saving clients time and money. 
We are happy to have put together this new division of Patel Pay FX, which does just that. In fact, the thing I love most in my career is to help companies make more money. This is the focus of my talk today. So how did Telpay come about? How did Telpay FX come about, excuse me? Many of Telpay customers are involved in international business and were looking for a consistent and competitive exchange rate to improve their foreign transactions. We've responded by bringing specific currency tel talent on board to head up our new venture, Telpay FX. Telpay FX was created to streamline the entire process and ensure our customers consistently receive ultra competitive and fair rates. Telpay FX will ensure each customer is consistently provided competitive and top notch service. Marilyn, would you be so kind to conduct a poll for us right now? My pleasure, Jeff. So folks, we'd like to know, when you think about yourselves or your customers, what percentage of you are experiencing challenges when you need to buy or convert or forward currency? So there's a number of choices there. Some of you might not have that need today. Some of you may have up to 25% or 50% or maybe all of your clients have tried to collect and send foreign currency. And it's just been a bit of a financial hassle, maybe some challenges that you've experienced. We're just about 90% there. Thank you for your responses. I'm going to close in five, four, three, two, and one, and just share those results. Can you see those, Jeff? 48% haven't experienced a trouble yet, but 4%. Nope. I, yep. I do see those, yes. Yeah, perfect. Maybe you want to speak to those? Yeah, this is great, actually. It looks like uh, a number of you and your customers are involved in uh, currency exchange, uh, which is uh, what we were expecting because when you look at small to medium enterprises in Canada, 10% of them export uh, into the U.S. or elsewhere, uh, and then a number of them obviously also import. So being that your your yourselves or your companies are probably more uh, involved in exports, that, that's kind of a, what areas we were expecting. So that's great. Um, let me talk more about what TelPayFX can do for you and your customers. TelPayFX will focus solely on currency exchange. Essentially, we help in converting one currency into another. For example, US dollars into Canadian, vice versa, or uh, Japanese yen into Canadian, etc. Many Canadian companies are involved in foreign business and have a need to convert currencies. Understanding currency pricing and knowing you are getting a good rate is not very easy to do for most people or most companies. What we often find is that smaller companies are not well taken care of by their banks and brokers. In fact, we even find large companies can overpay in this area. There's examples of companies we know that do 200 million a year plus in exchange and they're overpaying for their currency exchange by even a quarter million dollars. So there's room to improve in this uh, area, whether a company's small or large. But part of the problem is comparing rates is not an easy task. So what we've done is we've taken that chore away from our customers so they can focus simply on getting it done. TelPayFX wants to be transparent in these rates that we provide. We allow customers the opportunity to, provide, to compare live real-time quotes and ensure that they're always getting a fair rate. In fact, we've developed a tool to allow companies to easily determine their cost to convert. I believe no one else provides this type of transparency. We call it the Compare Your Rate tool. You can actually access this tool directly from the Telpay FX website. It provides instantaneous live interbank market rates, as you see here on the left. This is just a slide, but if you went on to the website here, these rates would be changing as we we're speaking. So by entering the live rate updated onto our website, your quoted rate, and then entering the amount you're converting, it will show you how much you're paying for conversion. 
and it easily it will easily allow you to compare the different providers that you are looking to compare. So for example, what we have here is a live rate of 1.2615. Actually, I see it's 1.26162, we're just not being as exact. Uh, we have a quoted rate from a bank or a broker of 122.50, showing the difference between the actual live interbank rate and a quoted rate of 0 0.0365. So if you're converting 100,000 on that amount, the amount you're paying is 3,650 on $100,000. So you can see it can be quite a large amount. Now this all depends on which bank broker you're using, your relationship, et cetera. So we would like to get this amount down as low as possible for our customers and your customers. Uh, bottom line, like I said, our focus is to save you money and provide you a great service. So for Telpay FX, you can say goodbye to second class treatment. We are fair, transparent, and guaranteed. So what type of companies need currency conversion? Well, many Canadian companies have foreign currency exposure, as we see a number of you and your customers do here today. Basically, this would be any importer or exporter that has revenue or expenses in foreign currency be it US dollars, euros, Japanese yen, et cetera. We find that those doing somewhere around north of 50 to 100,000 a year can benefit from our service. And we handle customers all the way up to hundreds of millions. Currency is actually one of the most overlooked places where companies can vastly improve their margins. Again, we are wanting to save businesses money, help them make more money on their bottom line. As simple as it seems, there are plenty of situations where businesses get less than favorable rates and lose out on paying excess or hidden fees. We find even the largest companies can leave a lot on the table. Business customers should not have to think twice if they're going to get fair competitive rates. We allow them to forget about the fees and focus on all other key items that need their attention throughout the day. So why would Telpay FX be a good choice? We are part of the strong Telpay brand. We make it simple to convert most currencies. We offer customers a new value add service where they can save money and make things a lot simpler. And with Telpay FX, we constantly monitor these rates to make sure the customer gets a fair rate consistently and lets them focus on their key tasks. We continue the Telpay tradition to provide a fair, honest rate and value to our customers. In summary, you can be confident we'll provide great pricing and service to our customers, and I greatly appreciate your willingness to put us to put your trust in us. So please use and enjoy our Compare Your Rate tool by going to our telpayfx.com website, and you'll find it through the headings there. It's called Compare Your Rate, and ensure that you're getting a fair rate, and be, uh, feel free to contact us anytime to talk about it or to look at other ways that we can help you. Thank you for your time today. Andre, it's back over to you. Thank you very much, Jeff, for your presentation. Uh, I hope everybody uh, got to learn a little bit more about currency exchanges and forwards and how uh, definitely how Telpay can help your clients also save t uh, money uh, on this uh, very important matter. Uh, and, and now I'm gonna uh, welcome Tina uh, which is our uh, customer care manager, to so talk a little bit about the changing force and also the uh, payroll direct deposit that I mentioned before. Please, Tina. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Tina Mahood, and I'm the manager of customer care with Telpay. Uh, I've been with Telpay for 14 years, and my background is in payroll. Um, Telpay integrates with many accounting and payroll programs, and here's uh, just a few of the many that we do integrate with. I'm excited to announce a new partnership we have with a payroll company called PayTicker. PayTicker was founded by two gentlemen out of Calgary, Brad Rougeau and Craig McPhee. Craig owns a landscaping company in Calgary and was in need of a way to track the time and location of his remote employees. Before we go on, can you tell me how many of your customers have um, employees in remote areas? Uh, Marilyn, can you share the question, please? Absolutely, Tina. Thank you. So folks, 
when you think about your clients or customers or maybe even your business, sometimes you've got employees that don't come into the office every day, but yet you'd still like to know where they are, what hours they're working. If that's you, we'd like to know. Your choices are, no one I know has just distributed workforces or mobile, or maybe 25, 50, 75%, or maybe you work exclusively with the kinds of businesses that have employees that are outside the office. Everybody's wide awake today. We're already at 85%, so I'm gonna count you down from five, four, three, two, and one. Closing the poll, and I'm gonna share those results with you now. Tina, can you see those? Okay. 50% yeah, of folks. Yep, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you for your responses. Awesome. So, um, pay, pay ticker off, offers geospatial time and location tracking. Once the employees reach the job location, they simply punch in and punch out from their smartphones. Um, alternatively, what Craig has done for his business is uh, at the job location, he's actually hung an iPad on the wall. So when the employees get to work, they simply punch in. At the end of the day, they punch out. Uh, this, this information is then for, fed directly into the payroll portion of the program, giving up, uh, giving up to the second time tracking for the employees' hours. This allows for an accurate account of their time and eliminates the, key, the need to key in the hours. Once the payroll has been calculated, you can email, email the employees their pay stubs and import the employee's pay, the CRA source deductions, and any benefits or deductions directly into the Telpay for Business software for distribution. Some of the key features of PayTicker are GPS-enabled time tracking, accurate timekeeping, access from anywhere, full-featured reporting, simplified payroll, automatic source deduction calculations, and pay anyone anywhere with Telpay's all-in-one payment solution, Telpay for Business. How much time would you say your small business and medium-sized business spends on payroll and calculations every month? Marilyn, can you share the question, please? With pleasure. Thank so you. many of the folks, <laughs> many of the folks on the webinar today assist their clients with doing payroll, but some of you might be doing your own payroll. So we'd like to know when you think about the time that you're spending calculating payroll and then the remittances and payments that will follow on from that, how much time would you say that you spend every month? Would it be half a day, a full day, over a day, more than two days? Or maybe that's not the kind of business that you're in and that's fine. We just like to hear your responses. Thanks, everyone. We're at 80%, so I'm going to be counting you down from five, four, Three, two, and one. I'm going to be closing the poll now and sharing the results. Do you see those, Tina? Yes. So Thanks. lots of folks spending just half a day up to a day. A few folks in the room are not even using the payroll at the moment, but some are spending over two days. 14% of folks in the room today are spending more than two days to do their payroll. That's great results. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your responses. Uh, there's currently a special offer that uh, is going on between PayTicker and Telpay. Um, the special offer that's being offered is uh, time tracking is uh, $2 per employee per month. Payroll with direct deposit is $1.65 per employee per payroll run. And the, currently, the, uh, the base rate is 15 reduced from $20. And there's no setup fee for the Telpay for Business software nor the PayTicker program. If you'd like more information on PayTicker, you can certainly visit PayTicker.com or you can e email sales at PayTicker.com. Thanks for your time and I'll hand it back to Andre. Thank you, Tina, uh, uh, for sharing some information about uh, how uh, payroll direct deposit with Telpay and uh, some of the partners we have. And we're very excited to have PayTicker added to that hall of uh, integration partners. Uh, definitely uh, a very good add-on that uh, your clients might enjoy if they have mobile uh, employees workforce. So, uh, uh, and now one more thing here I would like to mention is we do have a special uh, partner program. Uh, you know, uh, we call the ASP partner program, 
which is a, part, uh, a, a program we have we have uh, developed for the bookkeepers and, and ESPs. Like I mentioned before, we have already 2,000 uh, members in it, and you get a, a few nice benefits of joining. First of all, it's free to join. Uh, you just have to contact us, fill out a form online, really easy to do. You'll get a, a specific code. Uh, with that code, uh, you'll be able to uh, use Tell Pay for Business for your own business uh, um, with no setup fee and no monthly fee. Basically, uh, you're only going to pay for transactions, uh, which is a great great way of you to get to know more about Tell Pay for Business, uh, learn about how the software works, and if it's a great fit or not for your clients. Um, and there's also an extended benefit for your clients when you do sign up and you sign up your clients or when they sign up and use your ESP code, uh, they also will get the, the setup fee waived, which is a, a $99 value. So uh, this is a, a great program we have for those of you who are practitioners and have your own clients. Now, for those of you who are not uh, and, and you just uh, work for your own company or you work for a company, uh, don't worry, we do have also uh, an offer for you. Uh, if you sign up for Telpay uh, for business uh, until March 31st and you use the code AST, uh, you also get the setup fee waived. So uh, I'm sharing here uh, on the screen our website uh, or uh, the way that you can go to, to sign up and get also more information. It's uh, info.telpay.ca uh, slash K2E. Um, and also here's a, a, some information for you to contact us. There's my my name, my 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 phone number and an email, Jeff's uh, contact information too, uh, and also the contact information that uh, Tina mentioned about PayTicker. Uh, we're also uh, putting it up here. Uh, but again, if you need any of that information later, you can always reach out to us and uh, we'll give that to you. Um, this is all we had from uh, Telpay for today. Uh, I'll give it back to you, Marilyn. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andre and Dale and Tina and Jeff. Um, Andre, could I just get you before I hand back over to Alan? Would you mind going back to the price breakdown screen that you had for pay ticker? We've had a request to see that again. No problem. This one here? That's the one. You can see it? Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, so this is the, the promotion we have currently that it's combining uh, tell pay with pay ticker. Uh, uh, so it's two dollars per month per employee uh, for time tracking. Uh, now for payroll runs, it's a dollar sixty-five per employee pay run per per run, uh, and a monthly fee of fifteen dollars. So uh, again, if you guys have any questions, you can contact us uh, or or the people, and we can uh, we'll be more than happy to give all the full details how it works and how it can benefit your business. Great, thank you, Andre, for that. I'm no just problem. going to be moving the presenter stage back over to Alan. Alan, I can hear you, that you're there. I'm here. So before we wind up and let you all go back to what you're doing, I want to remind you that within 10 days, you will get uh, the recording, my teaching notes, my teaching files, the answers to your questions, and your CPD certificate. When you leave, uh, leave this uh, webinar, you will be asked to do a short survey, and I would appreciate you doing it because we look at the, uh, the results of that survey with considerable interest. And if you're not aware of this, the K2E Canada team now has longer webinars two-hour and four-hour webinars that go into far more depth than we can do in 30 minutes. If you're interested in that, the last question in the survey asks if you want more information about our new webinars. And on that note, thank you for attending today. Look forward to seeing all of you in March. It's a wrap.